How to check cervical mucus. Cervical mucus, or fluid, is the whitish, sometimes sticky substance the cervix produces before ovulation. Though some may consider it a gross discharge, it's actually there to help you get pregnant. In fact, it provides the sperm with nutrients and an alkaline environment for it to swim through as it heads for the egg. You will notice that your cervical fluid's consistency changes throughout your ovulation cycle, and these changes help predict the days when you are most fertile. This guide on how to check cervical mucus details two methods, as well as ways to chart your findings and interpret them. One. External Collection Method This involves collecting your cervical mucus just before peeing. First, fold up a clean sheet of tissue paper neatly and wipe your vagina from front to back. If you have any cervical mucus, or are expecting some based on your ovulation cycle, chances are that the tissue will pick some up. You can also check for any fluid when you wipe after peeing though sometimes urine may interfere with the actual consistency of the mucus. Another external method involves using your fingers. To do this, wash and dry your hands first, then gently swipe two fingers over the surface or opening of the vagina. If you have any cervical mucus, you will be able to detect some. Sometimes you may also see whitish fluid on your underwear. Two internal collection method. If cervical mucus is scanned and not detectable with the external method, you may want to consider the internal method. First, wash and dry your hands. Then, sit comfortably or get in a position wherein you can easily insert your fingers into your vagina, much like the position when inserting a tampon. Next, insert two fingers into your vagina until you feel some sort of tissue at the end, which is most likely the cervix. This is by far the best cervical mucus you can collect because it comes directly from the cervix. Gently push your fingers against the cervix and curve them as you pull out to scoop out some of the mucus. After collecting, move on to the third step. 3. Observing your cervical mucus Put some in between two fingers. Draw the fingers apart slowly. Notice the consistency and stretchiness of the mucus, along with the color, amount, texture, and wetness. 4. Categorize your observations. After observing the characteristics of your cervical mucus, classify your findings according to the following five categories. Dry, sticky, creamy, watery, or egg white consistency. These five are listed in the order of being the least fertile to the most fertile type. A dry observation refers to no wetness in the vagina and no cervical fluid at all, even after collecting internally. Sticky cervical mucus refers to fluid that is stiff, crumbly, gummy, or glue-like and cannot be easily stretched between the fingers. Most usually, this type is yellowish, but may also be white or clear. Creamy mucus appears to look like hand lotion or cream, or sometimes like mayonnaise, or a solution of flour and water. It is usually white or yellow and does not stretch very much. Watery cervical mucus is the clearest, looking somewhat like water, and is sometimes stretchy. This is usually the type when the vagina feels very wet and even slippery, with fluid usually seen in the underwear. Finally, egg white cervical mucus looks like raw egg whites and is usually clear or tinged with a bit of white. Another distinguishing characteristic is you can easily stretch it between your fingers, even up to an inch or more. 5. Interpret your findings. Usually, if your mucus is classified as dry or sticky, you probably aren't fertile and still have to wait a few more days or weeks to become fertile. These types may also signal that the egg has been released already, and you may simply be waiting for menstruation to occur. If you have creamy cervical mucus, this means that ovulation may be happening soon, 
and you can anticipate a change from creamy to watery. If you have watery mucus, you are considered fertile. If you are planning to conceive, this is the time to have intercourse with your partner. For some, this type may be the most fertile cervical mucus, though some also experience having egg white cervical mucus. This last type is the most fertile because it exhibits the ideal characteristics for sperm to swim through and reach the egg. The longer the stretch between your fingers, the more fertile you are. Now that you have learned how to check cervical mucus, you can start checking and recording your observations to plan for pregnancy. Consider creating a chart to track your cervical mucus every cycle, and you'll soon notice an emerging pattern. Use it to help predict fertile and infertile days to increase the chances of conception.